Kryptonians. PTR is finally fully updated. You can now boost your characters. If you've been waiting for this, now everything is available. You can unlock the entire game. You can boost your characters from 1 to 60. You can unlock all your Paragon points, all your waypoints. You can get all of the equipment you want. You have access to all of the Mythic Uniques, including 4 GAs, if you get lucky enough. What you need to do, you come over to Kyobashad. You go right to Mrak here. He's got all of it. This guy, this is what I want on my team. I want this guy here. You can max all your aspects. You can get random legendaries. This one will not give you any GAs, but we got a solution for that. You can get all of the uniques, all your runes, or you can never mind. What do you want to do here? So you grant all uniques. This one gets, you can get max aspects. You can get legendaries, all the uniques, and all the runes. They come in chests. When you click on the one and the uniques, it's going to go right into your bag. So you get one of each. There's no GA uniques that come out of these chests here. Here are mythic uniques. When you drop them, they always have a chance to drop. But right here, we got a four star starless guy. Beautiful. First try. So when you're going through this here, and you can salvage all of this, you can save all your sparks if you want to. What we're going to look for also, give a really good solution finding some uniques. When you drop open these unique chests here, this is going to give you access to every single unique in the game, but none of them will be a GA. So how you get GAs? Same thing when you go here and you open up your equipment, and then you go to random uniques or random legendaries. You open up a random legendary chest. They're all just going to be your regular legendary gear. If you haven't seen it yet, the way the progression works, you can get either legendary or ancestral gear. Ancestral gear always has a GA on it, and it's going to be item power 800. Item power 800 items can have two of your tempering, and then they can get up to master working 12. Any legendary piece can only have one temper and master working four. So you really want to hunt for those GAs. Blizzard made it so that the GA and ancestral gear is a little more rare. It's supposed to give us something to chase. It's that hunt. It's why we grind these games. So how you can do it on the PTR. A little work around here. When you come down here, so the follow, you're going to go to your oval vendor. This might take a little while, but you can spend your ovals here. Ovals do have a chance to get some GA items. So you gamble away. Hopefully, you'll find yourself something. If you don't, salvage away, drop it on the ground, whichever one you want to do. And then what you're going to do next is you're going to go right back over to Mrak over here. The magical Mrak. Go to Crafting and Materials. Crafting and Materials grants ovals. What you do, you can grant your ovals. Now we're going to be maxed again. Perfectly <laughs> at that 2,500. You come back over, and then you just gamble away just to see what you can find. This is going to be a really great way to get your character set up in order to get into some of the testing. So we got one GA right here. Now I can take this one. I can master work this to 12. Then I can also put two tempers on it. From Rack here, you're able to unlock all of your tempering manuals, all of your... Uh, you can get all of the materials you want, you can unlock all your master working, you can unlock all your tempering manuals, you can do all of it. It's all going to be right here in all of these different chests that you get. Let's go salvage everything, we'll open up a couple chests so you can see exactly what they look like. Get rid of all of our stuff, don't be wasteful. Get your materials. Then we open up random legendary gear, Let's look at your chests over here. Let's pick up our tempering manuals. We have our tempering manuals here. Already unlocks, go straight to it, and then you're going to open up your class tempering manuals, and then it unlocks it for you too. That's how you're going to unlock all of the, literally every single thing that you want to in this game. Paragon, if you wanted to, you can unlock your full Paragon board too. So you can see what the progression looks like. So for this one, we'll do it. So we're going to get all max glyphs, and then you can get all max glyphs. Twice. So we grant all glyphs, and then max glyphs right here. 
I'm going to hold off on that for a little bit. I want something to grind. Uh, I want some way to test out the builds. Probably later on, once I get my builds up and running and we try it out, then I'll probably boost everything up to max and, and test it out. We'll see. Maybe we'll just grind all the way up to, to the maximum level and see what we can do here. Now, let's look at the runes. Brand new to Diablo this season, we have runes. They're going to go into your socketable items here. You have a generator, and then you have a spell. The way that this is going to work, this is why helmets now have two. You can only have two sets of runes. This way, it keeps classes like barbarians, who have two, four, six, eight, ten slots where you could put up to five rune combinations. They made it so that you could only do two. So every single class will have the exact same amount of power from the runes. I'm going to take a couple of these runes out here and we'll show you how the combinations work. If you look at this rune right here, 800 offerings. That means that you need to build up 800 in order for the druid earthen bulwark to be cast, granting yourself a barrier. As any class in the game, you now can get an earthen bulwark. They're being able to cross platform from one class to another. You're now going to be able to unlock different ones. So we'll just look at a couple of them here. Gain shadow from the rogue's dark shroud. So rogue's dark shroud is very strong. Now you can get those shadows every 150 offerings. We have things like invoke the spirit born's vortex. We can actually use spirit born things in this PTR through this. Sp invoke the spirit born's concussive stomp, dealing damage to enemies and knocking them down. We have sorcerer's mystical forest nova. So 400 offerings. How do we get offerings? If you go up to your other runes, casting a skill with a cooldown. So for me, if I was to cast War Cry, Challenging Shout, Rallying Cry, any of those, it would give me 50 offering. I would need to cast enough to generate 400, and then this would go off. I haven't actually got to see if it automatically goes off or if this is something that we actually have the option to click or cast. I'm assuming that is going to automatically happen, but we're going we're gonna to test it out. So invoke a power from another class. So for this one here, you're going to need this, and then you can use things like the, your Dark Shroud or your Earthen Bulwark. There's so many different ones. Stand still. If you're running an intercom build, a lot of this Mighty Throw builds that you're going to see out there probably will just stand still. So if you're just standing still, you're going to be gaining 25 offerings every 0.3 seconds. There's so many different ones that are, the combinations are going to be super fun. Your characters are going to give, be very, very strong. 50 offerings for just traveling 5 meters. How you use these here. So if we go over to our gem vendor, we're going to remove just two of our gems here. I'm going to do the weapons. This 150 strength that you gain is huge. It's also my armor. So I'm going to take the weapons slots, and we're, that's where we're going to use my runes for. So when we go into the rune slot, back into your socketable stash here, we're going to do, let's do the travel 5 meters. We're going to put that one in. And then we're going to do, let's see what else we have here. Let's grab a couple more. Then we'll go back into the training grounds. Then we'll do a couple of them there. Okay, so we got our runes. We're going to head over to the training grounds. If you guys don't use the training grounds, you really should start working on it. It is really, really great. In Kyovishad, you go over by the Tormented Statue, and you go right into the training grounds here. This is where I come to test all of my builds, all of my new items. It's amazing. There's no monsters. You have They did update it, too. So now... We have a gem vendor here. So if you wanted to remove all of your runes to retest them, put new ones in, you now can come to the gem vendor, remove those runes, and then you can put new ones in, get all of your testing done. You updated all of the training dummies. You now have a ton of different options here. They made it really, really cool. They're slowly going to be adding more and more stuff in and customizing this. So if you haven't yet, check this out here. We're going to go in... And I'm going to put in a couple of these runes so you guys can see exactly what they do. There's some pretty cool ones here. 
lose 1% of your maximum life. This seems interesting, but if we're running Starlight, Starlight got changed. You now have to heal life that is not overhealed in order to get the most out of that aspect. So maybe if we're going to be overhealing, we want to use something like this where we're going to be gaining two offerings, but we're going to be losing 1% of our maximum life. What we're going to try out now, though, is I want to boost my life. This requires 200 offerings, and then we're going to gain 20% of our life for four seconds. I'm going to put that in combination with your travel 20 meters. So all I'm going to do is we're just going to run around here, and now you can see your little boost right here. I've gained my life, and that was not very far. So basically, what it feels like, and you can see that it just increases as we go, I don't have any downtime at all on this 20% life. This is really, really strong. So if you find runes that are going to be really, really strong for you, this is it right here. Why don't we try this? I've always wanted to run Earthen Bulwark on my Barbarian. Earthen Bulwark was one of my favorite abilities. So for this, let's go back. We're going to put back on the rune that allows us to gain offerings after running. So we'll put that back on. Then we're going to find the Earthen Bulwark one, and we're going to put this on. Now you have your little thing right here. When I moved, this should give me a barrier. Then you see it going up right there. As soon as that meter gets all the way up, we should cast Earthen Bulwark. This one might not be the best option, the movement speed. The max life might be better. But now we have Earthen Bulwark on a Barbarian. That's just a couple of updates for what's going on right now on the PTR. If you guys are, haven't hopped in yet, hop in. Let me know what you think in the comments of this video about this. This is awesome. I am a super fan of this already. I haven't even started yet. I'm going to hop in. We're going to test this build out. We're going to go run Pit. and We're going to clear Pit 100. I'm live on YouTube and Twitch every night. Stop by, theorycraft with me. We have a lot going on. I'll be on the PTR tonight. Catch you on the clip side.